Hello my beautiful berry family, welcome back into my channel. On this channel we talk about all things dof dof and if you are into those kind of topics I really hope that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell just so that you get notified every single time I post a video. Don't forget that every single Thursday at 3 o'clock we have the chat room podcast that drops right here on this channel, Dark Berry TV and I really hope that you tune in just so that you never miss out. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to give your partner mind-blowing cloth cloth. Now, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Hello, Berry family. Guess what? I come bearing amazing gifts. Most exciting capsules for the gentleman. If you want to last longer, if you want to have a more energetic experience during the time that you guys are eating fruits and vegetables with your partner, get yourself the Viking capsules. I also deliver via Pixie, and you can head on over to my WhatsApp number and just place your order and just enjoy these amazing gifts together. Yes, mind blowing. And I'm using those dramatic words because that's what it can be. And that's how it can look like for everybody. Mind blowing. But these are the things that you have to focus on. Please, number one, make sure that you focus on what is working. Yes, focus on what's working. And I mean, like, why wouldn't you? In any sort of business, the first thing that you need to do is you need to do a SWOT analysis. You need to do your strength, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. Okay? So that's the first thing you need to do. Your strengths. Focus on that. What is working? What is going right? What is it that you like about your partner? What is it? What is working? And I know there's probably a long list of every single thing that is working in your tlof tlof life. Focus on that. And while you're focusing on what's working, I hope that when you're communicating with your partner, you are specific when it comes to what works for you. You are able to communicate it and you are able to articulate it. You don't just come to your partner and say, oh, no, um, yeah, when you, I think when you, no, 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 be specific, communicate, articulate yourself well and tell your partner clearly what is working for you so that she can be able to take notes if need be hello berry family guess what i come bearing amazing gifts i come with a wand that goes for 560 and a rose that goes for 760. i personally love these toys so much because i was an individual that could never reach their big o but by spending time with myself and these amazing gadgets they really taught me how to learn how to get myself into the big o and then instruct my partner on how to help me get to the big o now because i'm experienced on how to get myself to the big o now we play with these amazing gadgets together with my partner i love them because they are waterproof you don't need any batteries they come with a magnetic charger and they are just the best gadgets for the both of us to have an amazing orgasmic experience so if you want to order yours i suggest that you head on over to my what personal whatsapp number and place your order today i deliver via pexi it takes four to seven working days and just by ordering your own product you can get to your own amazing oh are you focusing on what's working remember do not be negative remember that when we are dealing with it love love we are in our most vulnerable position i mean like we are naked so anything where you can spot or say something negative about me the only thing that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be closing myself off because i will trying i will be trying to protect myself any human being will do that so make sure that you don't mention any negatives in this position because we want to get to a point where it gets mind-blowing right so leave the negativities outside please don't make a mistake of comparing her do not compare her with your ex do not compare her with next door do not compare her with what's happening with your um friends relation don't compare her because whatever it is that you're discussing with your friends during lunchtime is probably a lie. Your friends are probably exaggerating everything that is happening in their bedroom. So if you take that story and you take it to your partner and say that, therefore I think 
no unless if bow corner when i got my sego up when they were busy with love love so don't you dare even compare her and don't you dare even compare her with your favorite corn star because you need to remember that the only thing that corn stars are doing when they are doing it they are performing it's not a realistic situation so please do not compare your partner also please understand that people function better when they are most confident so get her to a point where she feels comfortable where she feels confident where she knows that oh okay i got this i got this going on even if not everything is top notch according to you right but get, just get her to a point where she is just confident and the way that we get confident as females is when you know that you are secured so there's no side chicks and you know side chick drama that is happening that will definitely not get us into a position where we are confident get her into a position where she's confident where she's confident about her own body where she's confident about everything that is around her that you know she's insecure about as a man be that king that secures her and tells her because you know what baby you are more than enough for me get her into that position where she is confident because she'll function better so now that we've focused on what is working and now we have clearly communicated based on what we like and we have also gotten her into a position where she is confident and guess what we are not even communicating what works for us negatively now it's time to begin the hard work clearly communicate what would work for you that does not currently exist in this space which is your space so clearly communicating what would work for you or what you would like would be baby i would like you to please touch my chocolate box when i am inside or baby I would like us to please add dog berry toys when I add, when you are inside. Clear communication. Not um I would like you to do more when I am inside of you. I'd like you to move. Don't just be a chicken dust. Did you see that there's a big difference in 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 in, in that because the one is filled with negativity but the other one is just clearly communicating what they would like because our objective is that we both get to enjoy this amazing experience and it gets to a point where it is mind blowing and while you are clearly communicating and being specific in the things that you would like don't be unrealistic don't try and add things that exist in these romantic movies or corn movies and try to add them into a realistic setup because all that you're going to be doing you're just going to be frustrating your partner and she's just going to feel like she is not enough and she's just going to give up on trying so please be realistic in your expectations and now it's time to try new things yes try new things try new positions try new toys try new gadgets try doing it in different places in different places in the room in the house in different places book somewhere and try it in those environments ask your mother to take care of the kids ask your father to take care of the kids so that you can have your alone time with your partner so that you can be able to be in a conducive space where you are able to try new things I'm telling you now, the most parts of it is really about communication. It's not about the gymnastic positions and all these things that are just over exaggerated. I'm telling you now, if you communicate what is working for your partner and yourself, and you also get her into a point where she is confident, you also get her into a point where she is also confident enough to communicate clearly to you what it is that she would appreciate from you. If you get her into that position where there is no comparison and no negativities, and you are both in a comfortable and authentic space, I'm telling you now, there is no way where it cannot be mind blowing. You need to remember that having the mind-blowing experience is exactly what it is for females. It's mind-blowing. For us, it begins right here before it gets to the body. It begins with the mental stimulation and then the electricities go directly into our body. 
So make sure that you get that communication, that comfort, that king that we all know exists. Get it up to scratch. And I'm telling you now, you are going to get yourself and your partner to have mind-blowing experiences. So I hope that you take my advice. And if you do take my advice and if you do apply this advice, understanding also that this will take time because communication and fixing everything is not just a magical experience. If you do take this advice and if it does work for you, I really hope that you come in over to my comments section and tell me how it worked for you. Tell me how it's going for you because all that I really, really want and really, really wish for is for all of you to have your amazing orgasmic experiences. Till next time, I really hope that you take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.